Hello, today I'm going to present an image question answering method based on convolutional neural network with dynamic parameter layer whose weights are determined adaptively by a given question. This is joint work with Paul Hong Seok Seo and my advisor Bo Young Han. Image question answering is a problem to answer questions related to an input image. Contrary to the traditional visual recognition problems, which focus on single visual recognition problems such as sync classification or body classification, image question answering provides a unified framework for solving various recognition problems at the same time by asking questions corresponding to the visual recognition problems. The motivation for solving image question answering is that Various visual recognition problems could be solved by training a single convolutional neural network for each different visual recognition data set. This is the common pipeline for solving visual recognition problems with the convolutional neural network. Usually, a convolutional neural network trained on ImageNet is used as a pre-trained model. To adapt the pre-trained model to a target visual recognition problem, People usually switch a single layer within a network and fine-tune the whole network with the target visual recognition data set. This common pipeline works quite well and has been applied to various visual recognition problems. Our approach for image question answering is based on this common pipeline. As a recognition problem in image question answering is determined by a given question, the pipeline can be applied to the image question answering by switching a single layer within the convolutional neural network for each different questions. For this purpose, we introduce a dynamic parameter layer, which is a fully connected layer whose weights are dynamically determined by a given question. More specifically, the weights are determined by a parameter prediction network in form of regression based on the feature extracted from a given question. However, this solution to the problem is not trivial to implement due to the parameter explosion in the final fully connected layer of the parameter prediction network. In this figure, the dimension of the input and output of the parameter prediction net layer is F and A, and the dimension of the input and output of the final fully connected layer of the parameter prediction network is Q and P, and the number of parameters of the fully connected layer is N. In case of directly mapping the output of the parameter prediction network to the dynamic parameter layer, the dimension of the candidate weight P have to be A times F. As the number of parameters for the fully connected layer N is P times Q, by assigning P, we can compute the number of parameters of fully connected layer N as follows. As an example, let's think about a case when A is 1000, F is 1000, and Q is 500 which is a very common situation. In this case, n becomes 500, 500 million, which is a huge amount. It corresponds to 1.86 gigabyte in floating-point precision, and this amount is a, a lot bigger than the number of parameters for VGG19 layer, which is 144 million. To elevate this problem, we employ the weight sharing with hashing trick, which is proposed in ICML 2015. Instead of directly assigning the candidate weight to the dynamic parameter layer with one-to-one -one mapping, we make multiple weights of the dynamic parameter layer share the same candidate weight value. value. While the mapping between the weights of dynamic parameter layer and the candidate weight is defined by a hashing function. In this way, the number of parameter of fully connected layer n does not depend on the number of dimension of input and output of the dynamic parameter layer which means we can control the number of candidate weights P to prevent the parameter explosion. This is the overall network architecture. The network is composed of two sub-networks, classification network and the parameter prediction network. I'll describe, I'll describe the details of the classification network and the parameter prediction network in the following slides. The classification network is a convolutional neural network containing a dynamic parameter layer. More specifically, the feature extracted with pre-trained VG16 layer net is passed to the dynamic parameter layer. The classification network takes an Im image as an input and generates an answer probability vector. The parameter prediction network is composed of gated recurrent units and a fully connected layer. The parameter prediction network takes a question as an input 
and generate candidate weights which are assigned to the dynamic parameter layer based on the hashing function. The proposed network can be trained end-to-end -end by minimizing the classification error, but we found that we can improve the performance by introducing the two training strategies and using pre-trained gated recurrent unit and fine-tuning the convolutional neural network. The first idea is that the gated recurrent units in parameter prediction network can be pre-trained with a large number of natural language corpus. Compared to the number of training data used for a machine translation, even the largest image question answering data set contains relatively small number of training data. As a lack of data may result in the overfitting, we initialize the gated, gated recurrent unit with the pre-trained weights and fine-tune them. <laughs> Specifically, we employ skip sort vector, which is a gated recurrent unit pre-trained on a book corpus containing more than 17.4 billion sentences. The second idea is that we can start fine-tuning the pre-trained network after training the remaining parts, remaining parts of the network first. In the beginning of the training, the gradients coming from the dynamic parameter layer is noisy and unstable as the weights of the dynamic parameter layers are unstable. Due to this reason, we start fine-tuning fine -tuning the pre-trained CNN after training the remaining part first. We found that this training strategy helps us to train the network easily and to achieve the better performance. To illustrate the effectiveness of the proposed algorithm, we performed several control experiments. For comparison, we designed a simple baseline architecture which uses a single fully connected layer on top of concatenated image and question features. By simply using the architecture based on the dynamic parameter prediction, we can obtain the better performance. The performance is further improved by initializing the gated recurrent unit with the pre-trained skip thought vector. The best performance of the pr proposed model could be achieved by fine-tuning the convolutional neural network with the proposed training strategy. To, to understand the question feature embedding before and after the training the network, we extract a feature from a query question and retrieve the nearest questions. As illustrated in the examples, after training, the retrieved question tend to include more similar recognition problems with the query question. While the retrieved question before training only share a sim simple word occurrences. This is the quantitative result on public image question answering dataset. Similar to other models presented in this oh, sorry. Similar to other models presented in this year's CVPR, the proposed methods show significant improvement over the previous method in the Docker image question answering dataset and Coco QA image question answering dataset. After our proposed method, lots of interesting ideas have been proposed and showed impre impressive performance on VQA dataset. And as an advertisement, our recent work training recurrent answering units with joint loss minimization also showed good performance. This is qualitative result. The model tend to answer correctly for a single question about several different images. And the model tend to answer correctly for several different questions about a single image. Even though the previous qualitative results are quite promising, there are difficult questions that the model cannot solve easily. The most representative example is counting, where the model almost always gives two as an answer, regardless of the target object. This is mainly because two is the most frequent answer for counting questions in the training set. This is the end of my talk. Thank you for listening.